Hey, what is going on, everyone? I am Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. This is part three of Kathy's Stimulus Check Challenge. Uh, she's been trying to see how much she could turn a $600 stimulus check into uh, after sourcing at the bins and um, possibly some other places. This is the third trip that she spent at the Colorado Springs bins. Uh, she found some pretty good stuff. Well, she found something that's really good, but I'll let her tell you what that is and show you what she got. Hey guys, I did just want to mention the total that I paid for. So um, this haul, everything you're going to see cost me $33.10. Looks like it was just 22 pounds worth. So um, at $1.39 a pound. But yeah, we'll just jump right in. So this um, time I came in the morning, the last two times, the, last, the first two hauls I went at night, like right before closing. And if you remember, I've probably said... You can only go for two hours max, then they kick you out. Mm -hmm. um, but if there's, cause you, they can only have so many people in the building, but if there's space in the building, you have to check out at your two hour mark, but you could go back in after. I've never went back in. So this time I went in the morning after I dropped my son off. So they open at eight, I dropped him off at like 8.30 and then went over probably, got there around nine and I got right in. I think I only stayed just over an hour this time though, because I just didn't feel like I was finding a ton right. of great stuff, but I did find like one thing at the end of my trip that I was like, oh, I'm so excited that I just wanted to leave. So <laughs> She does that a lot. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> so the first thing I found was just this Rodan and Fields hat, which this is not going to sell for a ton, but I think I did look up comps. I just like hats because they're so lightweight, yeah. super easy to easy photograph, to super easy to store. Easy to store. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to go for like 10 to 15 plus shipping, so... Not huge, but if you're thinking of it by weight, it probably costs 25 cents. So. Um, this is a Build-A-Bear reindeer. So I did notice that his tag was, well, not that tag, the, the Build-A-Bear tag's cut off, but he has his Build-A-Bear foot, or she, right. I guess. Um, but yeah, so this looked like, I think it was going for like 15 to 20. Without the tag, probably the lower end, but yeah, plus shipping, I believe. So not huge, but... I always look out for build bears Alright, and then this was... Um, I think this is a Transformer. I think it's Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumble's, yeah, Bumblebee, so, right? Transformers. I don't know how you open them. I don't want to break it, but... I only bought this because I was like, Transformers are cool, right? <laughs> I don't really actually know. <laughs> they might be uh, nothing. <laughs> I did not look up comps for anything, so... I don't even know how to open it, but maybe Chris. I'm pretty can sure that Bumblebee out. is the most popular okay. transformer with so. kids. So, if nothing else, our kids will have a new toy to play with. For and we also seconds. sell it like JBF, which we've mentioned a few times. So, yeah. worst case scenario, that would go to JBF and sell for four or five bucks, right? Yeah. So. Um. So I found a couple more hats. This is a Nike one. It does look like it says something on it, though. So Big probably is going to devalue it a little <laughs> bit. But I've sold plenty of things with um like golf monogram kind of yeah, stuff on it so it's nike it'll sell um and this is a roxy hat uh it does have a couple spots on it but i'm gonna try to wash those out chris last time i got a whole bunch of hats at the bins he did like an oxy soak and most of them came out really nice looking so try that um i've sold a roxy hat in the past for like 20 bucks but if i can't get the stains out less but if i can i think i can get 15 to 20 out of it um, this is just a women's spider fleece, so this is a medium. I did notice one snag on it, but at Ben's pricing, that's okay. It has like a little snag there, but no biggie. Otherwise, in really good shape. And then it has the spider logo on the back, so um, I would think I could probably get around 30 bucks for this, but we'll see. At the very least, I would say 20 find these Carhartt gloves. Um, Carhartt's always a good brand. Obviously the jackets are going to bring you the real money, but uh, these, one of them has paint on it. I mean, it's a glove, so it's not I could try deal. to get some, some uh, solvent on there to get that paint off. Yeah, but even if it doesn't come off, they'll still sell. I did not look up comps. They're just, it was Carhartt, so I bought right. it. Um, and they were like, my guess out of nowhere would probably be 15 to $20, but mm -hmm. I could be off. I kind of don't want, I see the thing oh. that's the coolest on the top, but I want to show it last. We'll <laughs> swipe off camera real quick. You want me to like shove it down to the bottom? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anyone to see it. It's it. funny because anybody who knows your Instagram already oh, knows, right. so. <laughs> okay. 
It's not that big a secret, but it was a cool find, so. Uh, this is just like one of those like swimming vests for toddlers and stuff. Um, I sell these all the time at JBF, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to sell it online, but if it doesn't sell, I'll sell it there. If I sell it at JBF, it'll go for 10. Obviously, if I sell it online, I'd hope to get for like, at least 10 plus ship, mm -hmm. um, since I know I can sell it for 10 locally. But yeah. And so we've mentioned JBF twice now. Do you want to give a quick uh, yeah, so description you... for anybody who may be new here who doesn't know what JBF is? Yeah, uh, so JBF stands for Just Between Friends. It's just a consignment sale. It is a franchise, so they have them um, kind of all over, not like in every state, but a lot of states. Um, and it's a sale that I sell at. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been doing it for a few years now. I haven't done a sale since last April, I think, but I plan to do another one this April and hopefully more if, um, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we kind of slowed down when we did, when COVID happened and then more stuff was starting to sell online. Right. But I still like doing it. It's a really good way to clear your stuff out. And yeah, but basically you tag all your stuff at home mm -hmm. um, and you just drop it off in there. They'll tell you when you need to drop it off. It's kind of like a big giant swap meet but everything is organized by color size or not like color size be there once yeah. you drop it off that's all you have to do essentially other than if you want to work your shift to get more money but yeah. like when i think of swap meet, i think of everyone sets up their own booth right or like it's a not like a booth style like everything is organized by yeah so they have all the racks that they put out yeah. and they'll they're like sorted by size um and then stuff like that so then you just go in and you put your clothes in the 12 month 24 or whatever mm -hmm. and that's it so it's pretty fun we like to try to yeah. clear out <laughs> stuff that has been sitting around for a while because we do a lot of lo kids clothes mm -hmm. and um, stuff our own kids use that's just not really worth listing online so. and kathy also sources there and finds some really good deals on shoes and stuff so yeah. um if and i would definitely look like, into it what i like is like it's just other moms selling so everything you buy is putting mom like money in another right. mom's pocket and I just like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So hey, we got another hat. This one just says Ola and it's the brand Haller Bros, which is actually um an expensive brand that I found out when I found a vest a while ago. I actually don't know if I ever listed that vest. So I'm like, <laughs> where's that vest? So I found a vest a while back for not that much, and it, I thought it was going to sell for like 80 bucks. but I'm like picturing myself sharing my Poshmark closet, and I don't even think I ever listed it, so. Yeah, I can't think of what I need to find about. that vest, because it looked like it was an expensive brand. I don't know about this hat. I did not look this hat up. I just bought it because it was that same brand. So what did what did Goodwill have this price at? They, well, they had it at two ninety nine, and nobody bought it, which means it at least went down to $1.50, and still nobody bought it, but. Right. Yeah. I, without looking up comps, would guess this is a at least a twenty dollar hat, but could be way off. And now I really need to find that vest after we're done here. And so this is, uh, we said this is all sourced at the Goodwill bins, and that's everything. Uh, well, that obviously was hanging on a Goodwill <laughs> rack, right? For a while, nobody bought it for yeah, that. Yeah, at the real store. So then they sell it uh, price per pound, and so we got that for probably like pennies because it weighs so little. Yeah. The way we do it, though, like, even though we say we got this for pennies, the right. way I'm going to do it is I told you I paid 33 for everything. After the video, I'll count up how many items and just divide by we the just number. Just average out so the it's price. Usually around, yeah. It's never been more than $2. It's usually around $1.20 to $1.40. So. And, you know, that's not necessarily the best way or the right. only way, but that's just the, the way we choose to do for it for us. <laughs> so, um, this is just a buckle beanie. Nothing amazing, but... If I can get 10 bucks out of it, I'll be happy. Got a pair of Nike soccer cleats. These are a toddler. Well, maybe not toddler. Yeah, toddler size 11. Um, these will probably sell right around $20. So definitely a good enough pickup for me. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is not an American Girl doll, but um, this is one of the Target dolls so i think they only retail for like 30 bucks to begin with but i've never sold one so i just kind of wanted to see if they sell online mm -hmm. if not i know i can sell this at the jbf sale for probably at least 10. um she does need a little face wipe it mm -hmm. looks like somebody went glitter crazy on her but <laughs> yeah uh, she has roller skates so i also had the thought of because i didn't look up comps if these even sell online but i figured that if the dolls doesn't sell that good because they're kind of heavy and shipping would be I could probably, probably sell at least the sell the roller skates and yeah. maybe the outfit and then just sell the doll naked at the JBF sale. So, <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see what and I so do with that. <laughs> the Benz is so cheap, we like to experiment yeah. here and there. Um, 
I think from the first haul, we got yeah, a... I mean, these dolls are, like, at the thrift store all the time. I never pick yeah. them up because they're, like, three, four bucks, but at the bins, I'll take a chance. I was going to mention, in the first haul, Kathy found some, like, motorized plush... And it turns out that all of those didn't work. The motorized, like, there was an elephant that played peekaboo. The ears didn't cover its eyes. So we tossed so them. So we just kind of, yeah, tossed them. Yeah, and so we lost, what, a, bu a couple bucks. Out, but it's no big deal. <laughs> right. Because overall, we'll still make way more than our money back on the whole thing. So um, we found these little Nike sandals. They're kind of misshapen. I might, like, shove my kid's foot in them and have them walk <laughs> around for a day. Or I'm going to wash them, too, because they're a little dirty, but... Yeah, these otherwise are in okay shape. Uh, size 10 toddler. These will probably sell for 18 to 20. And that's another thing. If we don't feel comfortable selling those online because they're a little bit misshapen, we can sell those at JBF again because yeah, they will be in the person's hands and they could determine whether or not they think it's okay enough to pay for the price. So yeah. that's one plus for the mm -hmm. JBF. And There's no real returns either. either, so. Yeah, no returns there. Um, Another pair of blue. These are a size nine toddler, so again, probably around 18, 20 bucks. And a pair of Tiva sandals. These are a little dirty. They'll go in the wash machine, but otherwise okay. Uh, these are a size women's eight, so I think these will sell around 20 bucks too. Um, 18 to 20 bucks, I'd say. Right, this is just a one of those seat buckle belts uh attack on titan i don't know what that is okay i think that's uh some kind of anime probably maybe we don't um, watch anime so i've sold one of these the, this brand is buckle down so i've sold one of these over the summer i found a my little pony one at the garage sale and it sold fairly quickly for like 18 bucks so mm -hmm. i figured i think it was like 18 bucks anyways if i could get 10 bucks out of this i'd be happy i did see some solds i can't remember what but i think i'll make about 10 bucks off that and i know i've heard of attack on titan so it yeah. seems like it must sure be a pretty popular <laughs> show i don't watch like a whole bunch of anything right. i really just watch youtube or um like ID true channel. crime shows, <laughs> i like yeah. true crime so <laughs> otherwise yeah we don't have netflix hulu we don't really have anything so mm -hmm. um this is just some crocs they do have some of the buttons on them i may or may not share or the gibbets because they're yeah the gibbets somebody told us that <laughs> I sold the Rockies gibbets for what five bucks minus posh, so I made like right. two bucks. But still, if I can make two or three bucks off the gibbets and then sell the Crocs, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can tell these are really dirty. But I literally, before we started this video, sold a pair of dirtier. Well, I washed them, but they're still pretty dirty. Crocs Spoiler for, alert, right? Because they were from the last haul. <laughs> yep, and I just sold those a little bit ago for on posh seventeen dollars with discounted shipping. So I made like twelve bucks off of them or something like that. So. These are dirty, so I will wash them, but otherwise, I think they'll sell around the same price. Mm -hmm. I would say, because that person did pay 17 but with discount shipping, they paid $5 for shipping plus tax. So $23 all in. Um, people will buy dirty Crocs. A lot of people just garden in them yeah. and stuff anyway, so it doesn't really matter if they're that clean. And if you haven't seen that other haul or the other, this part two of this series, Go check it out because they were pretty gross. They had a bunch of like soda, we <laughs> assume, in the bottom of so them. I and... did wash them in the washing machine. All that soda came out. It did kind of leave a stain on the inner foot, but nobody's going to see that. So, <laughs> And you disclose that. Yeah. So, yeah, they sold. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some pink Victoria's Secret just slide sandals. I've sold these in the past, um, not for a ton. These will probably sell for like $15 or something. They just say size medium, so I'll need to look up their chart, but it's probably like a seven or something like that. I think their large is like a 10, maybe mm -hmm. a nine, 10. So these are probably like a seven, eight, but yeah, not bad. Got another pair of Crocs. These are some men's uh, slide sandal ones. Again, dirty, so they'll go in the washing machine, but they should clean up nicely. I've actually done really, like men's Crocs have always sold really fast for me. I feel like they're like a little weird right here. So like right there, it's kind of gross. <laughs> I don't know if that's dirt or just like messed up, mm. but either way, they'll still sell. Yeah. Um, if that comes off, it'll sell for more. But even if it's like kind of gross still, after I wash them, it'll still probably sell for like- Is it something like bucks. adhesive or something? I feel, I don't know. It, it honestly just looks like crusty dirt. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully. Typically, oh, yeah. like, we use a lot of uh, goof-off to remove marker and stuff from the bottoms of shoes. Typically, it's pretty safe on Crocs, so I might try to 
use the solvents on there to try to get that off. If I'll take a closer look when we're off camera. Yeah. So the soles don't look worn down or anything, so that's yeah. good. Uh, this I just picked up because it was tiny and it was Care Bears. <laughs> if I didn't look up comps, it'll probably sell for a couple bucks if I list it. Uh, this I just bought because it was new. Figured out we'd use it around Halloween if it doesn't sell. It's just a Wilton cookie pan, I guess, but it is new. Um, Does it look resealed at all? It was retailed for 12 but I think it's... I did look this up. Let me try to scan it really fast because and if you did not know it's on eBay. Do you want a screen record real quick? Well, I need a scan. I don't feel like. Okay. Well, you could just, so. So eBay has this little feature where you could scan a barcode. Yeah. So like right here in the corner, you're going to click that and then just scan the barcode. $12 plus shipping. These are the listed ones, and I'm going to click over to solds. So you filter If you by don't solds. know how to do that, yeah, you just click the filter, and then you're going to push, like, sold items. Oh. Of course, there's no Nothing solds. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not really around Halloween time, so that's kind of expected, I would yeah. say. But the listed ones are, uh, again, new $12 plus shipping, which they're charging $13 for shipping. Um, one's on a bid for seven plus ship. One is 24 free ship with two watchers. So I think I can get a, around 10 bucks out of it mm -hmm. after shipping, which, and that was good enough for me. Do and if it doesn't, our kids will like to make cookies. Yeah. So. We'll just make use of it one time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then sell it for, even if we make our dollar back at that point, it'll be worth it. Are you asking me something? I was going to say, is that something you think you could sell at JBF? Is that something that would classify? Probably not. Might be on the border. Yeah. Probably. They do have like a kitchen section for like plates and cups, yeah. like kids' plates. So maybe. I mean, I would consider that a kids' thing. Right. So. And then I found these Danner boots, which if you watch our what sold, you saw I sold a pair recently, but the ones I sold were way, 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 Nicer, way better yeah. shape than these. So these are super beat up, but the the soles are decent. Um, the inner like inside the boot where like sometimes it gets really grody is really not bad you can still see it says danner mm -hmm. um so i really don't think they were worn a lot just whoever wore them probably did some really hard work in them for mm -hmm. a couple days or something but yeah all those zippers work um and at ben's pricing i wasn't gonna leave them so they're a no oh, that was uk size so uh us size nine and a half but yeah the ones i sold the other day sold for what 100 yeah, 100 even, mm -hmm. free shipping. That was a really nice pair though. Mm -hmm. um, these, we might try to put some Dr. Martin stuff on it and see if we can do anything, but even as is, I would say 30, 35 plus ship. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, these retail for like over 200 bucks and people need them. It's not yeah. like really a want, it's more of a need. So um, they do have the Gore-Tex. I feel like they're at least a composite toe and they have thin slit lining so are they vibram or are they not vibram no vibram terra force terra force that is. <laughs> might look into that but yeah. yeah anything with gore-tex look it up we say that all the time if you ever see thin slit look it up mm -hmm. um, just to add that to any shoes costing the person that made the shoe more money yeah. to add that they're licensing so it's the materials a better deal or it probably cost a lot to begin with is what yeah. I'm trying to say. Alright, I'm gonna another pair of boots that were again pretty beat up on the front, but not too bad on the soles or anything. Uh, these are Wolverine, which is that even retail for the last half? Um, you know, I when I was a working man <laughs> <laughs> When I worked at a cabinet shop when I was 18, I bought a pair of Wolverine boots and they were my favorite boots I've ever had. <laughs> and I wish I had them still. So... Well, do you want these I bought them at Walmart, so it's. I don't think they're great, but you know, I think I spent eighty bucks on them, and they were. Yeah, again, they have the the sensel, thin thin slit. Slit insulation, <laughs> and they have yeah. Gore-Tex. Um, so yeah, I mean, no, I don't think these are composite or anything, but again, at Ben's pricing, I'll take it. These are heavy, so but since we average out all the cost of everything. I feel like we're close to 30 items right yeah. when we paid 33 bucks. And I might try some of that uh, Dr. Martin's. Yeah, that, that should. I think that will come back to the, we might do a little before and after on Instagram, so stay tuned for that. I think yeah. that would be a cool thing. And again, the inside, if you can see, is 
Like Good you shape. can read that it says Wolverine. Yeah, it's not worn off at it all. It does not look like they've been worn much, so. They just kicked something or something. <laughs> <laughs> These are a pair of Sorel boots, but they're like super. So how old. much was this haul? You got these three boots yeah, and everything else it for. It only cost thirty three ten. Thirty three bucks. I have a picture on my Instagram of the receipt and everything. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I think there's at least twenty items. So even at if it's twenty items, that's what, barely over a dollar, dollar something each. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, these are Sorel boots. They're like a really really old model. I kind of just wanted to try them out because normally this is something I pass at the thrift store, mm -hmm. even though there's. Sorrel. 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 <laughs> I'm never going to get it right. Comment below with the correct pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, this is not, it's in like every video because I sell so much of it, but I'm never going to say it right. Anyways, but you're I gonna see sell these them. a lot at the thrift store, but they always are charging up on them because they're Sorrel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so since they were at the bins, I kind of wanted to try them out. I did look up some comps and like even these oldie boots seemed like they were going for 30 to 40 plus ship. So these are a men's 11. They still have their liners in them. So, we'll see. Yeah. They kind of... They might be like a smoker shoe, though, so... I need to set them outside or something before yeah. we decide to list those. Okay, two more things. I'll show you the, the coolest thing to me, which is... <laughs> might not even be the most... It's right, right. ...expensive thing. But you've been... You've had your eye <laughs> out for this kind of thing for a long right. time. And... It's not these. The joy of thrifting, right? <laughs> Yeah, so finding stuff out in the wild are nikes um they're part fly net which any nike fly net look it up because they usually go for a good amount people that seem to like the fly net they're really dirty on the bottom so we'll get these washed up but um i noticed on the inside they're like some sort of usa thing it says land of the free on the insoles right there it says usa <laughs> um i i didn't really see any sold honestly but I did look up the model number to make sure they were legit Nike, and they were. So, yeah, I only looked on eBay for like one second. So, yeah. I'm sure once I look on Posh or Mercari, they'll pop up. But yeah, not a bad looking shoe. These are a size seven, mm -hmm. uh, women's. So, uh, and again, it's the Ben's purchase for like fifty dollars at least. So yeah, if I could get fifty out of these. Other than being That's dirty on the soles, they're not bad at all. All right. If you already follow me on Instagram, you already know what this is. <laughs> and you're but... probably not that excited either. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so this is a Lisa Frank binder. And if you didn't know, Lisa Frank sells for ridiculous prices yeah. on eBay. So there's... Maybe not that ridiculous, but ridiculous for us. For what it is. <laughs> I mean, considering right. how much it originally costs and everything, too. So like we did see this exact one. There was a couple sold around fifty-five dollars um, with free shipping. So, yeah, it's just a Lisa Frank binder. I don't even know how you tell if they're vintage. <laughs> I mean, I must. They still make Lisa Frank stuff. So, but yeah, this one, this exact print and everything had sold for fifty-five like pretty recently. So, uh, it's kind of. I might need to wipe it down here, mm -hmm. but. Not really like ripped or anything. There's... Zipper worked perfect, it seems. Yeah. Do all the rings line up? I remember in school, <laughs> like my papers will all get torn up. Those look do fine. Do you think this is like an add on or do you think that's part of it? This little pom pom? I don't know. I don't know. I see a little bit of an indention in there, but yeah, I think like that's common. So, some writing. but yeah, we'll wipe it down and let's zip for And this was in a picked over bin, right? So, like, this was, yeah, very picked over. So, like, when I went there in the morning, Last time I heard the lady say that, like, for the first 30 minutes every day is just the same bins that they had out the previous night, mm -hmm. which I had been there the previous night, so I was kind of like, dang it. Well, I got there a little after 8.30 anyway, so they were doing a rotation when I got there, but the where I found this was not a rotation liner or anything. So, yeah, it had been picked over all last night, even the previous night, so... Mm -hmm. People are looking for different things, so right. don't ever not go to the bins. I constantly find... Every shoe you see here was in a picked over bin too because I always check the shoe bins no matter what, even if somebody's been looking in there for like an hour because people don't value kid shoes like I do. Um, first off, there's always kid shoes in there. Yeah, Crocs, there's nobody buys Crocs, Crocs there. In there. Yeah. Every single bin, there's always Crocs. People don't value the Crocs. There's not a lot of people buying plush. I think you can get plush for good prices. I'm sure these were passed over just due to condition, but to me, I think there's money there, so I picked them up. Same with these, but yeah. So I just, 
I almost never get a new bin anymore because of the rules where it's like you have to be on the, I'm just not gonna fight for it. So I just keep picking other bins while everyone else is checking yeah. out the new ones and then I head over there after they leave them. So yeah, and you guys still see, we find some okay stuff. Um, yeah, an update on where we're at today. I'm now at four items sold so far of my challenge. Which stay tuned for the next uh, what's old video because that's yeah. where most of those are going to be over this past weekend. It is uh, late Sunday night. It is ten thirty at night right now. Um, yeah, so I sold three more items today of it, and so like fifteen. 20, I'm trying to like figure out how much money. So like the Crocs, I think I'm making like eleven fifty off of on posh, mm -hmm. uh, about fifteen dollars on the scrub jacket and the Scentsy Buddy. Mm -hmm. It was like 21 free ship it'll probably cost four to ship so probably 15 dollar profit or something so 15 plus 15 plus so like 40 bucks plus the other day we sold the jeans for 22 so i mean this is my third haul which mm -hmm. i haven't i'm just showing you right now it literally just got out of my car yeah. i haven't listed any of this or even typed it in so for the first two hauls we spent like 53 and 30 so like 80 bucks so we're basically already kind of Pos like not positive but like breaking even mm -hmm. just from the first two hauls which i found probably what 60 70 items mm -hmm. and i'm positive or right at the break even point on just four of the items so yeah i'm excited to see where it goes and look we do understand if you are new to reselling we do have established stores and you know you might not necessarily get the same results as us right away with new stores and like low feedback or um stuff like that but this is a good way to build your stores from the ground up with very little money in the game um you know i don't even know if you're i mean you're already you're not above 600 right I've overall spent 130 no i'm only at like 80. so we're still below the 600 we we're not in the green we're still you know, oh, yeah. in the we're red like overall, made on four right? Items, so. But um, already, we're—I mean, in the next couple of days, it's already going to be. Um, so I think what I'm trying to say is, if you start with six hundred dollars or even three hundred dollars, you will probably be in the green or in the black, if counting terms. By the time you get to spend all of that money, if you source cheap enough at the bins and stuff, yeah. this is kind of this is the kind of stuff that people will search. Like that Lisa Frank binder. There's going to be somebody who wants that. And if you don't have, you know, 500 feedback on eBay, it will still probably sell. Because um, eBay um, does uh, help out the buyers a lot. They, they always side with the buyers. If, if the buyer wants to return it or whatever, they'll make it happen. So, you know, there's not that much risk of them making that purchase if it's something they really want. Um, so anyway, <laughs> did you want to say something about that? I was just thinking, I was just thinking like, Almost every time I go to the bins, I at least find one item in every single haul that's going to pay for the whole haul itself. So yeah. that's how I like to think of it, that like this is going to cover my whole haul, including the shipping and fees. Yeah. And then now this is all free stuff, essentially. Right. So you'll make your money back on one. You'll sell the rest off. This Some of this might last a year in my shop, but yeah. that's okay because it's, it's It gives you inventory to work with for yeah. a long time. And that's why we sell... Instead of high dollar always, you see us selling 10 items a day mm -hmm. usually because we just have a lot. So, And it's also why a lot of the times we take really low offers on something that we've had for a while because we know we don't have that much <laughs> invested in it. So anyway, I think this is going to do it. This one ran a little bit long, but I think Kathy found a lot of great stuff. And this challenge is really... Um, on the right track, I think. <laughs> it's been motivating me to get stuff listed right. fast. That's another thing. She's getting all this inventory for super cheap. She's kind of getting behind on listing. Um, so I think we're, well, she's going to be going to the bins tomorrow um, for a <laughs> fourth trip. A lot this weekend. <laughs> she did get a lot up. So anyway, do stay tuned because we are going to keep this rolling. I think we're going to go at least until we spend $600 and then keep updating through our daily what's old videos. And then we'll just do, you know, random videos in the future of some random updates as to where we are and, um, you know, it might be months, it might be a year, but we're going to keep up with it. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, because like I said, we've got a lot of videos like this coming out in the future. So we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.